right, Rosaria, the thickness overlord of the night. This chick is so thick that she'll trick your dick to stick into a brick. That's actually really gross. So if you want that image out of your head, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe because only a small percentage of you guys are actually subscribed to this channel. So make sure to press that subscribe button because it's free and you can always change your mind. Alrighty, story time. I'm sure most of you don't know about Rosaria's backstory. She was born in this village and as soon as she was born, these bandits killed everyone there and kidnapped Rosaria, but whatever. Because in the end, Varkis, the missing Grandmaster of the Knights of Useless, spared Rosaria because she was young. Then he sent her to the Church of Useless where they served a lazy god. Fortunately, Rosaria had 1000 IQ and noticed how dumb these people were and refused to participate in any activities. Moving on to elemental abilities. Elemental skill, Thick Flash. Rosaria teleports behind the enemy and slashes them with cryo damage. However, if the enemy is just fat, then even Rosaria's thickness cannot budge against these annoying f all right, before I continue, I just want to mention that you can still teleport behind the Mitter Trolls, Lava Trolls, and the Geo Bishops. Those are not considered the f***ers, apparently. Um, I think the game is talking about the bosses, and I just wanted to mention that because I was definitely referring the f***ers to the Geo Bishops and the Mitter Trolls and the Lava Trolls. Elemental Burst. Legs. legs. Rosaria raises her legs, legs. then drop kicks with her legs, legs, summoning a cryo spear with her legs. legs that deals cryo damage on impact from her legs, legs, which creates a cryo AoE area that deals continuous cryo damage to the enemy within the AoE thanks to her legs. legs. Did I mention that this was all from her legs? Moving on to passive talents. Passive 1, free crit rate. When Rosaria uses her thick flash, she gets a 12% crit rate increase. Passive 2, more crit rate. When Rosaria uses her legs to cast her spear, her thick legs arouses her allies, increasing their crit rate by 15% of Rosaria's own crit rate for 10 seconds. The shared crit rate cannot over exceed 15%. Passive 3, you move faster in the night. That, that's it. Let's forego the formalities. I'm here to finish a job. Just leave the dirty work to me. Moving on to Constellations. Constellation 1. When Rosaria crits, she gets a attack boost and an attack speed boost. Constellation 2. The duration of the AoE created by Rosaria's spear, which was created by her legs, legs is extended by 4 extra seconds. Constellation 3. Your thick flash gets thicker. Constellation 4. When your thick flash crits, you gain 5 energy for the thick goddess herself. Constellation 5. Your legs get thicker. Constellation 6. Your legs reduces, I mean, sorry, reduces the enemy's physical resistance by 10%. Alrighty, artifacts. Now for Rosaria, I think your primary stats are probably going to be the same whether you're building DPS or support. You're probably going to build them similarly. Attack for hourglass, physical or cryo damage bonus depending on your damage choice, then crit rate or crit damage. Obviously, you probably want crit rate if you're building support, so you can share your crit rate with your team. But if you're trying to focus on her damage alone, then crit damage is probably your go-to. For substats, focusing on crit rate is probably a good idea for support, but you might as well focus on some crit damage since she's technically a DPS support. Then going for attack or elemental mastery is probably a good choice, and if you're going for support, I wouldn't really recommend the physical build since it's likely that you're going to use her passively. Personally, I would recommend the cryo build, but my cryo artifacts are all ass, and there's also that new artifact that's coming out which might be pretty good for her, so. Let's actually talk about that right now. So P sets. For beginner DPS, Berserker and Martial Arts is probably the way to go. For beginner support, you only need the two-piece Berserker, so grab whatever two-piece you want for the rest. For end game, there is a few choices. Bloodstained, Noblesse, Cryo, and of course the upcoming artifact set, the Pale Flame. Now for Cryo DPS, your choice in two-piece Cryo or four-piece Cryo will depend whether you want to utilize her legs or not. If you want to see her legs and do damage with it at the same time, then go for two-piece Cryo and two piece noblesse. Remember, this build will be more passive. If you just want to look at her from different angles and constantly do damage, then four piece cryo might be a good idea, but make sure you have Chung Yoon in your team since he'll convert your auto attack damage to cryo and you can technically use a four piece gladiator here too, but obviously those are a pain in the ass to farm, so I wouldn't recommend it too much. Now for physical, I'll be honest with you guys, I don't like physical damage that much. 
I was also going to propose the four piece bloodstain build so you can use her like C1 physical Hu Tao, but scratch that because one, chart attacks with Rosaria feels really off, and two, there's a new artifact set that's coming out and it's way better than the four piece bloodstain. So if you are building physical, I will recommend you to halt until the 1.5 since this is better and you get to see her legs more with cryo build, so. Today's your birthday. So if you have any dirty work that needs taken care of, I can give you a hand. Just don't tell anybody, got it? Alright, weapons. Starting with 5 stars, Primordial Jade Spear, amazing for auto attacks, also crit rate is noise. Homa, amazing for characters with thick HP but ability is still amazing and it also has 66 crit damage so, <laughs> you know. Vortex, great but get a shield so it's better. Scoured Spine, bring energy and crit rate and attack speed, very nice and very underrated. Moving on to 4 stars, Racist Spear, great but you need a team with 3 leeway peeps. Black Cliff, crit damage. Damage, decent disability, credit card spear, amazing for support, giving you more crit rate than the jade spear, royal spear, eh, I hate this spear, it's, it's really stupid, so just buy the Black Cliff. Dragon's Bane, why though? Bavonia Spear, Infinite Battery, Dragon Spine Spear, Physical Build Spear, cool design, but still horrible. Uh, AoE is really small and the resources for this pole arm is fucking annoying to get. Crescent Spike, Physical Build Spear, uglier than the Dragon Spine, but more consistent ability and its ugliness brings out the legs. legs. So I would say it's a pretty great spear for Rosaria. Star Glitter, probably for cryo support. Don't have it? I don't need it. White Tassel, Easy to R5 and is probably better choice than the Star Glitter. Story time too. So how did Rosaria get her vision? Well, one day Rosaria tried to run away because she was sick and tired of this bandit sh but one of the elders amongst the group chased her down. This bandit was the guy who kidnapped Rosaria and taught her how to fight and kill. So when he caught up to Rosaria, he basically said, fight me or you're worse than Timmy. Of course, this is unacceptable. Timmy is the worst of the worst, lowest of the low, he f***ing sucks. So Rosaria killed him and then came back with the vision, and the bandit groveled to the vision that was on them legs. legs. Alright teams, for Cryo Resonance, I think Chung Yoon is a pretty great choice, but then again, his only usage is his E when you use him with Rosaria, so if you're going to use her passively just set her up with literally any other cryo unit. Diona is a pretty great choice too, especially for physical since her shield reduces stamina consumption. For melt comps, Shang Ling's Pyronado is always there to help, but Goba is still a piece of shit. Shen Yan's shield produces pyro as well, but this is only active when her shield is up, so if you're going to use this in floor 12, good luck. For freeze comps, you have Water Boy for constant water and uh, fucking Barbara. For superconduct, Fischl is more consistent with Electro. Beidou is more safe and mobile with Electro. Then of course you have the Alchemy Girl and the Unlucky Boy to crack your damage. So if you're going to use her for sub support, she'll probably work very well in any main DPS teams, notably that guy who failed to be the main dish of this banner. So how the fuck do you play Rosaria? Well it's pretty easy, like really easy. You only press like two fucking buns for her with the cryo build, but things you should keep in mind. Number one, your thick flash will give you crit rate. I see to forget about this whenever I'm using physical Rosaria. Number two, your legs gives your team crit rate. I seem to forget about this in general and don't switch. So if your DPS is being a cunt because they refuse to crit even with decent crit rates, boom, just let them look at Rosaria's legs and they'll be motivated to crit. Number three, the damage dealt from the spear, which was from her legs, will continuously deal big damage. It may not be nuke damage, but it's still big leg damage. And this damage will occur exactly four times, maybe more if you have her constellations. So using someone like Shang Ling who is free will help you melt your enemies consistently with Omega Big Melt Leg Damage, which is pretty nice. But that's it for this video. If this video helped you and if you like Rosaria's legs at the same time, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Other than that, bye bye